Another option that you can do is just import your fonts directly from Illustrator and there's obviously different ways you can do it. You can draw directly in Illustrator using like the one of the draw tools. So you could for example, you know, use your pencil tool and create a letter or whatever. And it might be easier than drawing directly from bird drawing um, in bird font itself. So you could do stuff like that um, in Illustrator or you can obviously take a letter as well. I'll just choose the letter A. Um, then from your letter design, uh, choose a font that you want to work with. Uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna, for the sake of this, let's just say I like this font. And remember what you can do is you can go to type, create outlines, and that changes your font, your letter font into a vector graphic. So here you can start manipulating it and making it an original font. Let's just say you want to add this, you know, you like what you've done here. You can then literally copy this font Apple copy, go into bird font. Um, for the sake of it, I'm gonna get, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna get rid of this one that I did earlier. I'm sorry, let me quickly select it. I think this is gonna let me delete it. And then I'm gonna paste it, so it lets you paste directly into that. You might have to resize it. Uh, sorry, let me use the resize tool. And then there you have a font that you've made in Illustrator and you brought into bird, bird font. So I gotta go back here and then I should be able, sorry, that was, Kind of annoying but i guess i just have to select the whole thing and then i can resize it and bring it into the right area as i wish